I woke up this morning with money on my mind. mind. I'm fresh off dick, now I'm focused on the fine. I pray to the Lord, everything will work fine. fine. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. shine. What's good, YouTube? What's happening, squad? It's your boy Travis checking in. And it's your girl, Queen Key, off in this thing. And this video right here is highly requested. Highly requested. Highly requested, y'all. What's good, YouTube? What's happening, squad? The Real TNK squad back in, back again with another Thoughts and Opinions video. It's your boy Travis checking in. And it is your girl, Queen Key, off in this thing. I don't know why I had a problem getting that out. But um, this video right here, y'all, right? This one right here was highly requested, highly requested, highly requested, and we just now getting to it. Very much so, and it's even more highly requested after we released our last video. Mm -hmm. It was even more highly requested. Mm -hmm. So um, let me go back real quick. So we did uh, a video reacting to. Queen Naja's song, Too Much To Say. Mm -hmm. And in the song, she mentioned, you know, she had bruises and scars from her last relationship. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yep. And Chris Sales did a response video. So, Chris did a response video. In his, in his, in his response video, he took the blame and stated that, um, he, I didn't even look at. No, we got two different views on this thing. No, no, because I, I, I want to go back because I did. I do got two. I, this is what I want to say. I say he, I feel he took the blame for what she said, basically, because all the pressure was on him. But I also feel that he didn't admit to what people are saying. Okay, I still don't agree. Well, I mean, we, we can. Damn. Yeah, Let me I tell you your part. You tell your part because we can agree to disagree. I know. I'm saying, well, so tell your part then. You just, he just got a whole. No, I didn't because you like, I still don't agree. You cannot agree. No, but I'm saying how you said it just then. Okay, but we cannot. So tell me how you feel. I don't feel like he took the blame. I just feel like he's put it, put out facts, what was facts, because he. You, but you have to take the blame if you admit to something. No, he didn't admit to no beating her. People, no, 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 that's he, what people are like, saying no, that no, he did. But I do want to say that. No, he didn't admit to beating her. He never said, I beat her. He never said, I, because people are saying, Chris admitted to abusing. He never admitted to abusing nobody. What he did is say, for those, for, for those bruises, I admit I was young. And what, what was the word he used? Immature, I was young and... I forget what word he yeah, said. But, yeah, but, 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 so what he's saying is, at some point, I admit to something about a bruise. You know what I'm saying? But people don't understand that he also came back and did a video and stated that I never hit her. So a bruise could have been, hell, I grabbed you by your arm. That's what he said. You know what I'm saying? Said I could, we could, yeah, I could have pushed you. I could have grabbed you by your arm in the midst of, a, of an argument. But I do want to state this, and this ain't about no size, but I do want to say let's be equal because a female just stated today in a comment about that situation and said, so if he hit her first, because we know we did say that um, it was told that they, that they fought each other. Mm -hmm. Queen was, used to be an aggressor too, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Women f try to find a way to me to get out of a situation with women. She said, so if he hit her first, you damn right she got the right to hit him back. Okay. So if so if he hit so if she hit him first, do he got the right to hit her back? Yeah. Let's be equal, but that but more jury people are gonna tell you no, right? To me, yeah, because y'all gotta understand nowadays, people are not raising their children how they raise kids back in the old days, like how I was raised. I was raised. Um, I was raised between houses in my auntie house and my mama house. And they rules were my auntie rules were boys are never to hit girls. My mama rule was if a girl hit you, you knock shit out, knock their ass back out. You don't sit there and just take no hit. Just you get don't. beat on. So I was raised in them type of houses. 
I feel as though if a girl hits you, if you can walk away, then walk away. But if she got you in a situation where it's life or death, you or, hit her ass back. Oh, I feel like if you have an opportunity to walk away, do so. But it ain't gonna be no times, several times that you have a, that you have the right to hit me, and I continue to walk away. Because I, I think a lot of times in situations, and this is not defending men, but I, I see it a lot. I think a lot of time in a lot of situations, women don't understand this. If I if she if she haul off and hit you one time, right, and you play bigger man, she gets in her mind you a punk. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then he let me do it this time. I continue to do it. Right. Um, and I, like I said, I'm not saying this is what happened. We don't know. But what I want to say is. Y'all already labeled him something that you did that you and I keep saying this. Y'all labeled this man something that you don't know. We we don't know for sure what happened. Just like y'all was in the last video and and y'all trying to tell her story. No, I'm not telling her story because I don't know what the fuck happened. But I'm not gonna just you know what I'm saying convict somebody to being a killer and I ain't see them shoot nobody. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. You can't convict somebody of being an abuser and you didn't see it. That's the whole point I keep trying to make to y'all. Y'all are listening to one side and be like, I don't need to hear no more. That's it. And out of Chris' song, he said a lot of shit, but that's the only thing that y'all pulled out. He said, I... I, I uh, the, the part that touched me was when he said... Um, I get upset. I get upset when this, when this man holds my child. Right. I was like, damn. And, 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 and that's the thing that I want to say because I feel like Queen allows a lot of stuff that Clarence does on the camera with CJ mm-hmm. to antagonize Chris. Right. I really feel that. And nobody's going to make me feel different because right. cause there's nothing wrong with Clarence being stepfather in the house. That's what he is. You see what I'm saying? But no way in hell would I get on camera and let him do all that extra shit. Right. When I know his dad gonna see it. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just messed up. I I mean, I know that this is supposed to be a review video, but it's like a review and the thoughts and opinions because I fuck with the song. I yeah. like the song. Well I mean you know what like I said Chris again, always make good mu- he music good music to me. Like um I can't even lie. He always make good good music. And I ain't even gonna lie. Chris is smart as hell because he getting the bag. Queen signed Chris name. So I and, his and, name. and when y'all be screaming about the top of the iTunes, every time Chris come out, he's always on the top of the iTunes charts, and he's independent. So I mean, all the money is his. Mm-hmm. Um, Dwayne said that in, in in a video, and it made me realize that I'm like, hold up, damn, he is independent. Mm-hmm. And because you don't find too many artists that's not signed, and that's not even big artists like Chris is a really a YouTuber. So he's not really. In the category of being a mainstream artist, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But the fans do check in, and not only do the fans check in, I want to say this: haters, y'all give him more of his damn streams than fans do. So it's like you paying him, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And 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 but let's get back to the situation. Like I said, I really when I because a lot of people are commenting, yeah. He made a song about it and admitted to the abusing. He never admitted to abusing anybody. If he said, yeah, I, you know, I admit I was young and I forgot the other word, but, uh, you know, for the, for the, for the bruises, you know what I'm saying? That's the, and then like I said, he went back and clarified it in, a, in, a, uh, in the video. Y'all didn't, y'all didn't see that part. He clarified it in the video and said, I never physically put my hands on her. But if you want to say I pushed her, I you know, grabbed her, things of that nature. You know, I had a, I, I had an anger problem. I'll admit to that, and I'm sorry for that. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what he said. So I can't say nobody's an abuser or he lying or she lying. We wasn't there. All we can go by is what was said. Hey, y'all got to realize, too. Queen, uh, she used to show y'all shit. She used to knock the shit out of Chris. In video. <laughs> video. In video. A lot. So y'all up here like... Oh, she, he was beating her. She was really beating on his ass. Let so me think about it. So, and, and, and that's why, like I said, insiders have told us that she was the aggressor a lot of times in the situation. 
Even you know videos. why though I feel like she was aggressive? What you just said. If a female don't get checked from the jump for hitting a the nigga, they gonna always keep on doing it. And I've seen it. And that's the reason why I feel like she uh, uh, is aggressive like that you towards know, me. You know what I've seen? I've seen I've seen a female put their hands on a man several times. The one time he gets tired of it and put his hand back on you, oh, I'm calling the police, you put your hands on me. Like you didn't beat this nigga the last six months. You know what I'm saying? And because, and I'm gonna tell you, Flight said this in, in his last video, but the girl he was with that was pregnant or whatever, he stated that he wanted, she, he like, she's aggressive, she gets loud, she yells, she throws my things. He like, and he wanted to say she be hitting on me, but he stopped himself. It was like, you can't really say that because when you say a female be beating on you or hitting on you, then now everybody want to call you a bitch. Mm. Or you a punk ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that's true. That's why it's never told. It's never said that a man say, well, yeah, she be hitting on me. Man I can't call the police and be like, uh, officer, I want to call it. I want to, you know, report an abuse. She be beating me. The police might laugh at your ass. You'll be like, well, stop lying. You get your ass out of here. You know what I'm saying? This little ass woman be beating you. Yeah. They don't take it serious. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that she be whooping his ass, but I'm just giving y'all an example of how things work. And so and when a man finally gets tired of it and yoke your ass up or hit you back, now it's like, oh, he's, a, he's an abuser. He's a beater. And y'all keep saying he admitted to hitting part. I don't I ain't never seen that. Me either. He admitted to uh, beating Parker. I think he. I think he admitted to yes, yes, uh, hitting her back after she was did what she did. But uh, to, for me, I'm gonna be honest with you. We still didn't get closure with that situation. Mm -mm. So I'm. I'm still not touching it I, because nowhere did it come. Like I, I y'all say, yeah, you know, he couldn't go nowhere, and he was going to court behind the Parker thing. He took probation, I think, but. I don't want to see something straight up, no cut on it that says he was in court and he, he was guilty for abusing. Yeah, her. I ain't seen that. I think he took. I think he took probation because I think you know a lot of time in court cases, it's just what you do to get it over with. I take the probation. You know what I'm saying? It can't be proven. It can't. I take the probation. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what you do. But to admit and say, okay, yes, yes, Your Honor, I'm guilty. I beat her. I ain't seen it. I ain't seen it. So that's why I'm still going to keep quiet on this. Y'all say the other girl, she came with pictures. Well, that shit didn't even look real to me. Like, I, I ain't going to even lie to you. I think that girl really, she saw she saw Parker's situation and mapped it out damn in the same way. I'm going to do it like this. She wanted clout. You could look at her video she did after the fact. He should come with a YouTube channel all of a sudden. When that shit didn't go like y'all thought, like she thought it was, and she thought she was gonna blow up, she got the fuck on. So it's like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving him the benefit. But some of y'all also gotta say is, is y'all gotta, y'all gotta, what what are the people be telling me? Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta make Chris. Um, it's almost like they want us to, yeah, y'all got, y'all gotta hold, y'all don't hold him accountable for anything. I'm not his father. I'm not his mother. I'm not the police. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, judge, I'm not his judge. judge or his probation officer. I ain't got to hold him accountable for it. How the hell am I hold a grown-ass man accountable for something? The only thing I'm allowed to hold accountable is my damn kids. You know what I'm saying? If I tell my kids, then y'all got to make good grades. Y'all got to uh, you know, do what you're supposed to do. Then I'm going to hold you accountable for that. I can't hold no grown-ass. I wish a grown-ass man would say... I'm going to hold you accountable, Travis. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you don't get on my face. It ain't your job to hold me accountable. So, y'all, women got to stop saying we don't hold Chris accountable. Hell, we don't hold Queen accountable. That's not what this is about. But, oh, but, I'm, but, so, what well, y'all don't hold him accountable either. Y'all convict him when it's like, because you still angry. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, whatever it said. If somebody said, I heard Chris hit somebody, y'all go in and create a whole situation of it. Oh, Chris got locked up. Oh, he got locked up. That's things that people do in life. 
Yeah, y'all convict him of everything. So it's like, I, I don't, I, you want me to do that and I'm just not going to do that. Right. You want me to convict people because of what was said. I'm not going to do that. Because anything we do on Queen, it's never he say, she say. It's always what she does. It's always what out. she's put on the internet. It's never he say, she say. Right. All right, y'all. So that was our thoughts and opinions. Like I said, we really couldn't do too much of a reaction to the video because y'all know we don't do reactions. React to music videos like Music that. videos. Unless it's independent and paid for. Yeah. So um, we listened to the song. And from what I heard in the song, I fuck with it. Like I said, I like a lot of Chris music. But y'all gotta stop pulling one thing out of a song and make that to be the whole song. Yeah. Y'all did the same thing with Queen's song. Y'all pulled that one thing out of that verse and y'all made that the topic of the song. And I wouldn't say this too. In, in, in the video, he did explaining and telling y'all to go watch his his music video like he said y'all do videos on me why not why i can't do no videos on her he said that shit like yeah, y'all always saying that she he used her name yeah and and the, what the main thing he said is stop calling him queen naja's ex we ain't never put him in no title like that no uh one thing i do want to speak on too that i noticed was that i'm gonna tell you something chris fell for that he didn't catch. He really, I think he really tried to because it bothered, like, you know, some things bother people and they try to make it like it don't. Well, he said that. It, bo it bothers him. But I'm saying, at first he was trying to make it like it don't. Mm -hmm. He finally let it be known it does bother him. All the taunting and all the talk about him, all that, it bothers him. Of course it does, eventually. But what I, I think he tried to do was he was trying to kill the situation become a better person with the audience you know what i'm saying try to squash the beef with the fans with with even with even with queen and clarence and i think he got set up in the process because him and clarence had this thing where they were going back and forth mm -hmm. and i think chris was really trying to make like clear the air you know what i'm saying yeah like make it a, a, a happier place you know what i'm saying we can laugh and go back and forth and we ain't got to be best friends but we can laugh and i think clarence was setting him up basically just I'm using your ass. I'm using your stupid ass for views. Not saying he's stupid, but that's what Clarence was thinking. Uh -huh. I'm going to use your dumb ass for views. Because even when Chris made a statement one time and said, you know, I really think that we should just come together, you know, for the kids. You know, me, you, queen, you know, we had to come together and just, you know, just make this a better situation. And at that point, everything else was happy. And like, yeah, yeah, old Kiki. But when he said that, Clarence was like, um, uh, maybe later, not right now, Chris. That tells you. That let you know he's not in a better place. He 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 don't fuck with him like that. So all that all that going back and forth, that I wouldn't even play with you like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He played with him for the views. Right. But anyway, y'all tell us what y'all think about this video in the comment section. Did y'all fuck with the song or no? Or, um, you know, just let us know what y'all think. If y'all want to see more videos, let us know in the comment section below. Make sure you like, you comment, and you share this video. With that being said, we will catch y'all on the next video. Peace, y'all.